So not that long ago, I made a video where I basically did a postmortem of my air fryer, which broke and got kind of useless halfway, 50% useless, like prematurely, which was kind of not fun. And I don't want to buy a new air fryer because as I said in that video, there are just so many big appliances or small appliances because I think a toaster and um, a toaster oven, air fryer are considered small appliances where big appliances are maybe like stoves and fridges. I have enough of those. You can see a couple in the back. There's a Vitamix coffee machine. There's a KitchenAid. I don't want to get my counter space hogged up by another vessel. So this video, I'm going to tell you what I kind of showcased last time, which is that stove back here. And I wanted to get a stove that had a good convection setting. And that's what I did so that I can basically use that great convection setting in the oven to do my air fryer recipes. Now, there are a couple of caveats, especially when it comes to the temperature that you need to be using between an air fryer and an oven in the convection setting. And we'll go through that really soon. But I'm going to be covering and comparing my jalapeno you know, popper recipes. So just a, lot a couple of weeks ago, I think, or maybe months ago, I'll link it up below. I did an air fryer jalapeno popper recipe. So go check that out. I'll of course have some B-roll of that in this video. So you can kind of get a visual representation of what that looked like. And we'll just see. So I have already kind of cheesed up the jalapenos. Um, and I have my breadcrumbs here. So let's just start to quickly finish these up. And then we can just add it into the oven. Now the full recipe for the jalapeno poppers will be on the website. It will be linked down below as well. Just by watching this video and clicking on that link down below. And the reason why I think the convection setting is going to be perfect for any air fryer recipes because they're both built on the same principle, convection. Hot air moving around rapidly to help make food crispy and to cook, of course. And I will be keeping the trivet on just to get that same um, height underneath the jalapeno to get it like nicely cooked on each side because we want that convection to really do its job. Just place all of these in and then we'll put it inside the oven. And while that's baking, let me show you what setting it's on. So it's on the easy convect broil setting. So we get that nice heat blasting from the top. And it's at 425 Fahrenheit. So one key difference in making air fryer recipes or convection recipes in an oven versus an actual air fryer is just the amount of volume that you have, the amount of room you have inside each of those gadgets. An oven, of course, has a huge volume capacity inside, while an air fryer has a smaller volume. So when you set something like jalapeno poppers at 375 Fahrenheit in my air fryer recipe, well, if I set that same temperature here, I may not get the same results in the same amount of time. The general rule of thumb that you want to follow is if you're converting a recipe from an oven to an air fryer, then you reduce the temperature by 25 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Other way, if you're converting an air fryer recipe to an oven recipe, bump it up by 25 to 50 Fahrenheit. But just like anything that's cooking, you want to keep a close eye on it. You want to see if it's cooking at the weight you want it to. Is it too slow? Is it too fast? It's not a microwave sort of meal. It's not a way to eat kind of meal. A lot of stuff that we cook in the oven usually is not, even a frozen pizza is not ready to eat just like that, where you can just, boom, it's ready, right? You have to kind of use your senses and just judge it and take it out when it's best done to your liking. So this is going to be the plan moving forward. Any air fry recipe, I'm going to give you a conversion, convection and air fryer. And you know what? It took just around 10 minutes to get this perfectly done 
I did have it on the topmost rack, so it was like right under the broiler, because I want to get some of that color in the breadcrumbs, and it just kind of, and that extra heat element, just the proximity to the heat kind of helps cook this and get that cheese nicely molten as well. So all of you stay tuned. I'm excited to share these air fryer and convection oven fusion kind of recipes, but I'm just so excited to just share more air fryer recipes with you really soon. So stay tuned and I'll see you again next time. I'm going to go enjoy this now.